What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Razer Cortex. Razer Cortex is an app that I mentioned in my last video where I talked about how to uh, how how well the game Player Known Battlegrounds ran on uh, my laptop. And I mentioned Razer Cortex as a program for freeing up RAM, which will help you get more game performance in apps that hog RAM like like Player Known Battlegrounds. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this app. So basically all you do is you open it up. Once you download it, there will be a link in the description on where to download this. But uh, basically you just, if you don't have a Razer account, you make one. And once you make one, you just open the app like this and it should automatically read your library from Steam and all your games will show up here. So as you can see, I have pretty much every game, every game on my computer load out, just go through Minecraft, Overwatch, Battlefield. These are all the games I've installed on my computer at the moment. And then uh, to make, to actually go to the part where you boost your game, you go to Game Booster right here. So uh, in the configure section, you'll click, uh, like, uh, so I'll click restore real quick. So you'll optimize these settings on your computer that slow down your game. So you basically click optimize. It'll tell you you have to restart. So don't restart your computer yet. Just let, just uh, wait till the end of the tutorial, then just restart your computer and everything will apply itself. Then you go to the boost section, which is going to close, as you can see, it reads here, 13 background programs. It's going to close those to give me more, more RAM so I can get better performance. Now, this only really applies, this program only really applies to games that are using more RAM than you have. So, Player Known Battlegrounds is using 8.5 to 9 gigabytes of RAM. So, if you have 8 gigs of RAM, uh, you know, two gigs by uh, two gigs of that is being taken up by your operating system Windows, and then there's maybe an extra 500 to another gigabyte being taken up by background programs, and then you have about five or six left over for the game. So basically, you could boost. Let's see how many megabytes of RAM I get freed, and uh, 659. So that's about half a gigabyte. That's pretty decent. And I don't have a hard drive, so basically this will defrag your hard drive. And basically, what that does is it'll, it uh, well, it defragments your hard drive. In a word, it basically just makes games load faster so like um your loading screens will be a lot faster uh, this doesn't really help your gaming performance too much it really just helps with load screen time so it's still helpful but i don't have a hard drive i have an ssd so this is uh not applicable to me so if you have a hard drive this this button will be available click defrag it might take a while depending on how fast your hard drive is and that's pretty much it one thing you should do though is turn off the game caster as you can see here it says enable just turn it off make sure you turn it off because this is going to be like a little like it's going to be a little uh, hud that's in your that's in every game that that really kind of slows down the game a little bit it is a streaming service though so if you want to stream you can do that but uh i have it turned off so once you've configured everything on this all you're going to have to do now is go to games and launch one of your games you don't have to launch it through razor cortex you can launch it through your steam if you want to but basically when you launch a game this little thing will show up here. It'll free up all your background applications. So 294 megabytes of RAM. That's a little bit less than last time, but that's because some of my applications stay closed. So then the game will launch, and you'll have extra RAM. So a game like CS:GO again, um, for me it helped a lot when I upgraded my or when I upgraded my RAM for some magical reason. But that's basically how it works. Now, since you disabled the game caster, there'll be nothing up here. So there's nothing up here like showing the game caster or anything crazy like that. So that's basically how you use this program. So anyways, I hope this guy, I hope this uh, helped you guys out. If it did, please be sure to leave a like. If you liked it a lot, then subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.